Hey there everyone and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of Orchid Adventures with me, Maria Young. Okay, so today what I have before you is my Miltonia and I am very pleased to say that indeed it has blossomed. Now, although it has blossomed and indeed I am a happy camper, that is not what our discussion is going to be about today. Instead, today folks, we are going to be talking about happy sap. And unfortunately for me, it hasn't been so happy. I prefer to call it crappy sap. So let us get a better understanding on what this sugary substance is. This sugary substance that's created by the orchid is also known as honeydew and sugar water and is created by the orchid similar to nectar in which it produces it to attract insects in hopes of pollination. The sugary substance can be found on the spike, on the tips of buds, and also in the sheath of the plant. And sometimes it can be found throughout the orchid, especially on the undersides of the orchid foliage. Now, some orchid growers believe that the reason why these orchids create this happy sap is because it is showing that, in fact, it is very, very happy. Okay, so now I know you guys are wondering why I consider this sugary substance crappy sap. Well, depending on the amount that your orchid creates can really dictate whether this happy sap or crappy sap will become quite a nuisance to your orchid. Now this particular orchid that I have right here, which is a Miltonia flavescence, and I'm not quite sure if all of the orchids actually create this substance, but I know this one in particular creates it and it creates quite an abundance of it. So much in fact, if you take a close look at the spike, you will notice a certain shine on this spike. And the reason why it is so shiny is because the actual happy sap has saturated this spike in which it is covered and it has dried much like glue would dry, creating a shiny layer on this sheath. And the happy sap in this case has actually acted just like glue in which the petals and the sheath and the spike is actually stuck together. And with the happy sap behaving much like glue, it can be such a tedious task trying to get your blossoms to bloom. As you can see here folks, this actual blossom or this petal right here was destroyed. Because not only was I trying to remove the happy sap, but in the end I accidentally tore off the petal. Now the way this orchid blooms is there are layers of sheaths that will come apart from the spike and the blossom will come forth from the sheath. Now what I found kind of awkward is that this actually started coming out but I noticed it actually skipped this one. So I wondered what happened to this one in particular. Now, this particular sheath right here, I had to somewhat pry apart from the spike. And when I was able to do that, what I did notice here, folks, was that inside of this sheath, there was actually a blossom. But unfortunately, in this case, the happy sap completely smothered out this blossom, in which now we experienced a blossom fatality. Yeah, so much for happy sap. And what you see here, folks, kind of dangling in the wind, is actually a layer of that happy sap. Again, much like dried glue. Okay, folks, so let's see just how much happy sap this orchid creates. So here's a close-up look of the buds within the sheath. Now, if we take this and look very, very close, you will see fluid within this sheath. 
So as you see here, folks, this entire thing is filled up with happy sap. And it's now getting all over my hands. Ah! And is the reason why the buds and the petals will become stuck or even glued together. Okay, folks, so if you guys are experiencing this not so happy sap, my suggestion to you, instead of just simply trying to remove that sticky substance or take apart the buds and the petals from the sheath, I would suggest that you go ahead and saturate that area first with water. This will help to eliminate destroying or harming your plant, your spike, and definitely your blossom. Okay, folks, and after I saturated the spike down and the sheaths down with water, I was able to simply remove or take apart the sheath from the spike. And I actually noticed that after removing that sticky substance, the sheath actually parted from the blossom. So it was actually ready to open. But because all that sticky substance was on there, this sheath was actually glued shut. So what more than likely would have happened is that it yet again would have smothered these blossoms. So that's how important it is, folks, to remove this happy sap, especially if it's saturating your plant and preventing it from blooming normally. Okay folks, so it's been a day later since I saturated this bud right here. This is the bud that was actually stuck on the spike. And as you can see now, this has bloomed very healthy. And again, as I stated, if I had not assisted by removing that happy sap, this would have been another casualty, another very painful blossom casualty. So happy sap, folks? Uh, not so much. Yeah, I say crappy sap. Folks, be mindful of this and of course check your orchids out and make sure that there's not an abundance of this sticky substance on your orchid because it definitely can affect your blossoms. Okay folks, that is it. This has been Maria Young with another orchid adventure and hopefully this tip will save your blossoms and your orchid from experiencing this. This has been Maria Young thanking you so much for tuning in. And of course, stay tuned for more.